What's goody Warriors? The Lionheart is back. I'm back. What's going on Warriors? How are you feeling? Thank you for everyone that subscribed, commented, thumbs up, supported, given me feedback, sent me messages, added me, um, donated because I have like a donation because I want to get like a new PC star and start streaming on Twitch TV, streaming, playing all types of video games. So everyone that has donated, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And all that money, I haven't spent a penny of that money. No, all that money is still going towards my PC so I can stream new video games and get games so I can stream them and we can watch and we can all talk about the video games and how you feel about the video game that I'm playing and stuff like that. So thank you for everyone that has done that. Thank you for everyone that has added me on Twitter. Thank you very much. Everyone that has added me on Instagram. Thank you, man. Google, Google Plus. Thank you. You know, even like, it's amazing, you know. Um, I've had like indie developers add me, Bethesda, they added me, um, Capcom added me, what are they called, the people that did um, Infinity Blade, you know, they added me, so thank you man, even like Konami added me on Twitter and stuff like that, um, Ko Tecmo, Koi Tecmo added me, it's amazing, thank you so much man, I feel like there's been like a lot of support, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody, I wanted to talk a little bit about PS4, PS, um, Xbox One, PS3 and 360, very briefly, as well as saying thank you to everybody for having such a fantastic year, 2014, this is such an amazing year, you know, as well as 2014 um, actually showing me something that is actually quite amazing, the fact that mutants actually exist on planet Earth, big bottom girls, big ass girls. Like, excessively big. Sorry. <laughs> excessively big. Like, I can't remember the days when you thought Jennifer Lopez and Kim Kardashian, their asses were big. Now, in 2014, every single woman you see walking down the street has got a big ass. It's absolutely astounding. The mutants. You know, but yeah, like, all joking aside, you know, it's been really cool, 2014, I've really enjoyed it, it's been very successful and inspiring and eye-opening, and I hope it has been for you guys too. Um, in terms of, like, next-gen consoles, as you see, I don't discriminate, I've got the Xbox One and the Wii U, I'm going to be getting a PS4 probably February or February, March, around about that time, uh, so I wanted to talk about the transition. When it first came out, I wasn't really too interested in either of the consoles, PS4, Wii U, or the Xbox One, because I saw nothing I liked. I got the Wii U for one game, very simple, Bayonetta, Bayonetta 2. Um, Wii U, as a console in itself, I find it extremely boring, but I love Bayonetta, um, so we play it for that, and it's good. Um, Xbox One, it's a cool um, console, you know, I actually do find it exciting, you know, like my friends are on there, it's got like a little social hub where you can put up your clips and stuff like that, when you're playing a video game, pull it up, people can take comments, you can share it on Twitter or uh, showcase it on your profile, you've got a lot of friends that will watch it, they'll uh, watch it in the community, like the video game's got like a nice little hub, so if you play a game like, I don't know, Sunset Overdrive, Sunset Overdrive has its own page, you click on the game, Sunset Overdrive, and there's like an upload channel, and everybody from the whole community has got their videos up there every day, and people can watch them, like them, thumbs them up, or comment on them. I've actually met like six people off there so far that I've just had the console a month and they're really cool people talk about video games stuff like that it's really cool so now i kind of feel like now since our developers have started to transition towards the next consoles because like you know you had games like the eve within which was on both the 360 and xbox one and you had games like um well not lara croft because i can't say lara croft was on both consoles yeah but you know what i mean where they make a game on both consoles, like, I think, um, I'm not going to use that as an example, but let's say Eve Within, those type of games, where they're cross-platform, so the game is slightly compromised, because they haven't completely committed to the next generation, which means they hold themselves back a little bit. Now, a year after, you know, because when it first came out, I wasn't interested in Dead Rising, or I wasn't interested in Rise, or Killzone, 
or Warframe or Sec Infamous Second Son or any of those type of games. I wasn't interested. Still, you know, the catalogue is still very small. But it's bigger than what it used to be. And it's actually really good now at the moment. Like, you know, and more is to come. You know, we've got Kingdom Hearts. We've got Final Fantasy to come. We've got the new Lara Croft to come. We've got Street Fighter Five. We've got all types of games coming. Batman. As I said, Kingdom Hearts. I said Final Fantasy Fifteen. We've got so many exciting games coming out. You know, Metal Gear Rising, Scalebound. So many games are coming out. It's really, really exciting time in the future. A year has passed, so that's when I decided to get um, Xbox One. Mostly because, I just said this time, can't argue with the prices anymore. You can get an Xbox One for 299 You can get a PS4 for 349 I don't see any problems in the pricing now. Now that the evil eye of Mordor has been removed, aka the Kinect and the PlayStation camera, you know... I feel like now, if you're a gamer, it's a time to make the jump. And even if you're not a gamer, they're still really cool consoles to get because they're more than just video game consoles. Although the only aspect that really interests me is the video game aspect. Oh, and Netflix, which I'm watching right now. That's why I kept on looking at the screen because I'm watching um, From Dust Till Dawn, the Netflix. It's the Netflix originals. Really good, actually. You know, it's kind of like I've got into about I'm at episode 9. As I'm going to episode 9, it's becoming wacky, a bit wacky, and I'm not really enjoying it as I was from episode 1 to 7. But yeah, Dust Till Dawn on Netflix, kind of cool. Sorry, little rant I went on, but yeah. You know, but mostly I just play my video games on it. That's what I really... Thank you, Lee Nem on Tumblr for reblogging my post. Thank you. You know, so... Um, I want to say thank you to everybody for watching and listening to my little rant was I talk about the PS4 and Xbox One and what I feel is the right time because I said developers are starting to focus now on the PS4 and Xbox One where all development is going towards it. I mean still am I overwhelmed by the quality of the current gen games? No I'm not. Because, I mean, at first we did expect to see something fantastic and magical. Like, you remember those technical demos they were doing? Squaresoft did and Epic Games did of what they expected. We're not seeing that. I mean, we're seeing better resolution. But that's about it. Better resolution. Open world, basically. Op basically, open world and they can fit more stuff. More weapons, more enemies, more moves, more memory, um, higher fidelity. That's it. We're not really seeing unbelievable, groundbreaking graphics that basically the game looks like a cutscene, you know. But we're at the beginning. They have to learn the technology. So with that, we'll give them leeway and say we'll see in the future. Um, I'm not going to put any companies on blast, you know, for their games that have been incomplete. But it would be nice if, you know, the video game developers, instead of rushing our game, Finish the game first and then pull it out. Gamers are prepared to wait for quality. You don't rush out a half-cooked apple pie. You know, you don't. You cook it all the way through so it gets its full flavour and people can enjoy it. Video games are the same. Same philosophy. Same taste. Well, not same taste, but you know what I'm trying to say. So, yeah. That's all I wanted to say about the current gen and thanking everybody and telling you what I'm up to. Stick around for my top five, five anime games, which I'll be posting later on. And, yeah. Thank you for watching. Take care.